Alright, my uh, Toy 3T bucket is finally finished. I'm just going to show you a quick little picture of uh, the before with the uh, full windshield and uh, then I'll show you the, the, the finished car with the chop windshield just to give you an idea of what it was supposed to look like. All right. Well, here it is, all done. Chop windshield, lowered it down quite a bit, as you can tell from the, the previous picture. I uh, added in the uh, dipstick for the oil. I seen uh, a video that uh, Chevy Cheeseburger uploaded. I think, oh, okay, I'm gonna try that. I dulled down the uh, stacks on it too. Dusted up the windshield. Everything's totally done on it. I uh, moved the rad forward, so I had to make my own uh, rad hoses, and I used Chevy Cheeseburger's idea of uh, the solder that he was using on his headers, and uh, just used that, bent it to the shape I wanted, and uh, just painted it flat black. But I even uh, slanted the grill shell on a bit of a slant now. Let's see. A little bit of a slant. Back end, I decided to add the truck box on. So I added in all the little rivets and just did a very light dry brush just to show the, uh, the vinyl on it. Scratch built the iron cross tail lights. I just used uh, pieces of the uh, film that was used for the window and cut them out. It took me a couple times to get it and then used some uh, double sided foam I had that was pretty thin and just put that on the back of it. And I got some tin foil in between it too. Scratch built the uh, brackets for it too. Did the spider web theme. That way it ties in with the front end, weathered up the uh, tailgate and the sides, added in the license plate, and for the license plate light, you probably can't see it here, but I sanded the chrome off the top of it, which brought it down to the flat white, makes it look like the uh, tail light. And you can see the spider webs. Plucked out the differential and decided to leave the door open too. Interior's totally finished, all weathered up and beaten up. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I like how the window looks, and that's what I was looking for. It took a little bit of playing around to uh, try to glue the pieces back together from the original windshield. Really happy with the way it turned out. And I uh, decided to go with the aluminum rad. That way the spider web would stand out. Especially having it in behind. And it's supposed to have dual lights. They're supposed to be up above the rad. And they would come over a bit in between the tire. So all I did is cut one of the lights off, drilled out the uh, rad shell, and uh, just put them in. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the way it turned out. And uh, here's some pictures I took, some high def pictures. You should be able to get a better look at it. And uh, have a good day, you guys.